I don't know whether you can tell, but I'm really enjoying this build. <laughs> How do? Welcome back to the Kitchen Less Poor Build, great guitar build off. Since the last time you were here, I have attached the fretboard, which works really nicely. Uh, we've done a little bit of sanding and I've carved the neck exactly the same way I would carve any other neck using those strips and rasps and files and shaving things and all that kind of jazz. So today is going to be all about the body. We're going to carve the neck heel in here. One of the reasons I love a set neck or a a through neck as this kind of is, um, is that you can have any shape heel you want. You can really go to town to make that feel really nice and look a little bit different. Then we'll mess about with everything that we're going to stick on the front, including the kitchen sink. But before we start carving, can I just show you this grain pattern that's been revealed at the back of the neck? Isn't that quite spectacular? I just hope it stands up when we put strings on it. <laughs> One nice flush heel there uh, that just feels super nice. So then even on the front, just curving that little bit in where your thumb's going to go and just giving a softer access here to those big money notes. Oh, it's lovely. Yes, it needs a million tons of sanding, but there we go. Right, time to think about the top. So we're drilling holes through the back of all that lot to slot through that section. And then don't worry, I'm not using these. I have another fantastic fantastic you're gonna love it volume and tone pot that's gonna happen on there but it means we've got this area here that we can kind of play with now if you've seen my channel before you know we don't just build a shiny guitar we do something a little bit different and this time because we're going full kitchen I thought we'd go a little bit kitsch as well how about these kitsch blue kitchen tiles that I'm going to inlay into here in kind of like a, a crescent kind of shape just to fill that area with a little bit of color, make it look a little bit different. If you like the sound of that, give it the video a thumbs up right now. Cheers. So while these things are in place, I'm just going to pencil line around them just to say, keep off that area. You're not allowed in there. Right, so we've got a piece of paper on there. Let's put a crease all the way around the edge the old-fashioned way see if we cut that section out you almost have then a window so you can place this kind of anywhere you want to get the best view that you think is going to work I quite like having this star section at the top which obviously then would be mirrored down the bottom as well and a few of these little curls in here uh, and then the rest of these sections can just be cut off and, and placed on this side and that's all going to fit. Right, so I've got these rough cut out and I've mounted it to a board just to keep it a little bit more stable. Um, so now I've got to try and trim off for these excess sections, uh, which the bigger chunks I can go at with the angle grinder still, but it creates so much vibration that these thin sections might snap, which I would much rather they didn't. definitely better and smooth around the edges after a sander but man alive that's gonna take some tidying up <sighs> And with a little bit of fettlin, that fits in there rather nicely. 
Right. Okay, so I'm not going to glue that in until the guitar's had its final sanding because um, I don't want to sand over the top of the tiles because I know I'll slip and ruin them. But I have promised that I will put a sink into this kitchen Les Paul and dog damn it, I'm going to uphold that promise. This is just really fun. So this is why I need to put the kitchen sink in because this is a big flat board with a fret on top. That means this is going to be too tall. Now that's not even then sat on top of its pins, which is going to lift it up even more. It's quite considerably too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to recess this and the pickup as well inside a little um, squared recess, a little bit kitchen sink like. And then what I'm going to do is replicate what happened on the real kitchen worktop that was here. These divots were on the draining board basically next to the sink. So what I'm gonna do is replicate these grooves into the top of the body and see if I can get just thin ones to just run underneath each string into that sink area that's gonna be in there. I don't know whether you can tell, but I'm really enjoying this build. <laughs> Fret wire thickness. Lay that on the top of there, where the bridge is going to go, we currently have 10mm and we need at least 18mm for the bridge on its pins. So we need to go down a good 8mm and then we've got a little bit of scope for string height and liftability. One draining board. Now that's going to need a huge chunk of sanding and I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, so make sure you click the subscribe button, come back for the next video where we're pretty much going to be finishing this off next time. So all those little bits, the tone and volume controls, you're going to love them. Uh, come back for that and we'll see if we can finish off this kitchen Les Paul. Until then, watch this video because you're going to love it. And I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.